Last time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, Never Ending Nightmares, we had cops, we had murderers, we had ghosts, we had ghosts of murderers murdering people, we had cops murdering ghosts that were in people's bodies. So, wait, that, that wait, doesn't that actually make them murderers in a way, sort of? Um, not really, but wait, you gotta get back to, uh, the theme, oh, dude. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, this time on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror, ghosts murder people, cops, and murder, and ghosts, and blood, and all that other good stuff. Yeah. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to episode two of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Never-ending nightmares! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, after an epic beginning with a very, very good movie that I suggest if you have the chance to watch, go ahead and watch it. I really liked it, and I think you will too, even though the ending is. But, I digress. Rule number one, if you don't remember, because, you know, yesterday, my God, it's such a long time ago. So, oh, everything's just kind of getting super busy nowadays. We got baseball playoffs going, NFL is uh, in full swing. Oh, my goodness. It's, see, that's why, that's another reason why October is such a great month, besides the whole Halloween and trick-or-treating and all that good stuff. So, I thought, hey, you know, remember yesterday, all the way back there, when I was talking about these some really bad movies, well, it wasn't actually in this set. I mean, uh, there was another one called Power of Evil. That one had the really, really bad movies. But this one, uh, I don't think is as bad as that. So I thought I would, you know, since I already got it out of my collection, I would show you, well, or tell you about the movies. Not all at once, so one at a time. So, the first one that I'm going to do here for you is called The Devil's Nightmare. And this is sort of a, an Italian, uh, Bulgari- not Bulgari, uh, what is that? Belgium. Italian, Belgian, Italio, Belgio, I don't know how you would say it, but, uh, collaboration. So, uh, this movie is a 70s movie, so it's kind of like a classic. And so, let's get talking about it. It is... Back in 1948, the, uh, no, not 48, 45, the uh, World War in the uh, German areas are coming out to the close. The bombs are falling on the old Berlin, and there is a German baron whose wife is giving birth, and uh, she gives birth and dies, and the baron comes in and says, okay, was it a boy? And the, no, it was a girl, and so he tells the... Uh, the nurse to leave and uh, get shelter and he'll deal with the daughter. After they leave, he takes out a knife, well he christens her first, and then takes out a knife and kills her. Yeah, so fast forward to the 70s and a group of tourists are traveling through the German countryside and they come across an unexpected road blockade. And the guy near the roadblock gate tells him, eh, you, you're not going to be able to make the fur ferry if you use the, uh, the detour, so you might as well go back to this castle where the Baron's a nice guy and allows travelers to stay if they need to. So they, they turn around and travel to the castle where they are greeted, with, uh, greeted by the caretaker and the Baron, and they get their rooms, and apparently... Each one of these travelers, all seven of them, correspond to a deadly sin. The seven deadly sins. Oh, yeah. No, this isn't uh, Full Metal Alchemist or, uh, or the movie Seven. But, uh, you know, you've got whether you got greed, sloth, envy, wrath, uh, gluttony, lust, and pride. And so, uh, you know, the, the gluttony guy is always eating and the wrath guy is always angry about something. And, uh, Lust is, you know, she, she's pretty cute, hot, you know? and she's, well, always wanting to get, get, get into bed. And Sloth was kind of weak, I mean, 
I, I never really did anything too slothful except sleep at night, which, oh my goodness, how dare you? You're very slothful if you're sleeping at night, yeah? But uh, then you've got gr greed and envy seem to almost trade places or trade uh, sins halfway through it. But whatever, and then, uh, you know, you got pride, I guess, you know, it, he showed pride during the chess match. Anyways, they uh, are now at the castle, they got their own rooms, and they find out from the Baron that there is a curse upon the castle and upon the Baron's family. Apparently, a long time ago, one of the Baron's ancestors made a deal with the devil. And in exchange, every Baron's firstborn daughter will become a succubus and steal people's souls, all in the... the name of the evil devil himself. So, now you know why he kills his daughter, because, you know, I mean, he doesn't want her to grow up to be a succubus, so he, he thought, you know, he could probably break the curse somehow by, by doing that. However, during the course of the night, a, a mysterious lady shows up, who the nan or not nanny, uh, the female caretaker recognizes and doesn't want to come in, but she ends up coming in and kind of introduces herself, and we all figure out pretty quickly that she's the succubus, and she goes around one by one trying to harvest everyone's souls by exploiting their, uh, their weakness, their uh, seven deadly sins, I guess, you know. So, uh, you know, throw a gigantic buffet, uh, show the greedy person where a bunch of gold is, uh, annoy the hell out of the guy who's angry, you know, stuff like that. And so what we get is a is a somewhat slow but actually interesting and moody uh, period piece, I guess you would say. Uh, I mean, it's not really a period piece. I'm saying from the 70s, it kind of has that 70s feel to it. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of 70s, uh, early 80s Italian uh, type movies, and I can really, I can really like see it there. Uh, and the, the camera work, even though I think the director was actually the Belgium guy, but it, it just felt like it. And so I really like those, so I'm kind of, you know, maybe biased on it. So why not get to the scores? So we've got violence and gore is going to be a one out of five. Uh, it's not a lot of violence, uh, not a lot of blood, not a lot of gore. I mean, a little bit, there's some aftermaths of, uh, there's a ridiculous scene where the guy gets thrown off the top of the tower, and you think, like, you know, that's going to kill him. I mean, that fall is going to kill you. But, oh, let's just have him land on a bed of spikes just for good measure, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fun. So, one out of five. Uh, shock value, two out of five, and most of that is little jump scares here and there. But, actually, the most shocking thing was, you know, the, the baby killing. They really uh, didn't uh, pull a punch there, and it really kind of surprised me because, you know, there's like, shows the crib, and you just think he's just going to throw the, or put the knife in the crib, and then, you know, it'll be bloody afterwards, you know. But no, man, they got the kid right there, and he's just, uh, you know, anyways. So uh, now let's get to plot. I give it a two and a half out of five because it's basic. It's a real basic uh, plot. You know, the thing about, you know, uh, seven people, deserted place. Uh, had to go or have to go mysterious castle being killed one by one you know it's 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 basic but it does the job and honestly the ending kind of kind of got me a little bit actually the the first ending and i think they should have stopped it right right there but they kind of went on a little bit more and it became a little bit more predictable however i thought that i liked the little twist at the uh, the end that they threw in there i mean i guess i could call it a twist so two and a half out of five we've got nudity Two out of five, yes, finally, of course, you know, if you're going to make a mediocre movie, you need to throw in some special sauce, and uh, let me tell you, Sloth is a woman, and she is, uh, she's got some nice assets, I'd have to say, and uh, Lust isn't so bad, too, and the succubus, well, brief, you know, we get to see that, but we get the uh, interesting lesbian uh, bath sex scene, <laughs> Anyway, so two out of five. Uh, let's go to my overall impressions. No, not my overall impressions. I'm sorry. My enjoyment factor. My enjoyment factor is three out of five. You know, like I said, something about these uh, 
these 70s uh, Italian type horror movies just uh, I just I don't know I just like them I just like them uh, they're, they're kind of campy I like the, the, the lighting and everything just it's just and plus you know it's, it's, it's kind of fun it's it's horror it's nudity it's it's an interesting little ending thing they did there so you know come on I gotta like it and my overall impression is two and a half out of five because honestly I don't it's just an average movie it's just an average movie it's nothing spectacular it's nothing horrible I mean it gets the job done basically and uh, so that averages out to a 2.1 out of 5. You know, not the greatest film, but it's definitely not trash. It's, it's serviceable. It's serviceable, and, you know, some of the uh, little uh, nudity in there kind of helps get you over it. <laughs> but so there you go. But um, solid film. But I have to say that this, 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 uh, this bloodbath, the, the beginning of the movie starts with this really interesting really weird, I was going to say interesting, but really weird introduction. And it's really strange, almost like they were kind of trying to do some sort of Elvira thing, but instead it's like a Vampress and they have like cannibal girls, and it's like really long and drawn out and it's blood and tits, like the whole thing. It's just basically that. I mean, you know, I mean, if I, if I would have included that into my uh, review, probably the nudity thing would have gone up higher, but it's not actually part of the movie. So, unless you get Bloodbath, I guess you could get this collection, then you would get that in the beginning, or whatever. I think it was like Remembrance Films, or whatever, or, or oh, I don't know, I, I, I can't even remember. I'll, I guess I'll figure it out later, whatever. So, but there you go. It's just kind of weird how that, that thing at the beginning happened because it's really strange. And yeah, when you put the DVD in, generally you get the, 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 the wallpaper, you know, and it's something from the movie. But no, it's the, the chick from the, uh, the opening, which is also doubly weirded out. I think the first time I actually watched this, I thought that it wasn't the movie. I thought for some reason, like, the there was a switch up or what it was mispressed or something and some different movie show up. So I kind of just not watched it. I was like, going, this is weird and horrible. I'm going to stop watching this and go somewhere else. So I don't know. But, you know, that's, uh, that's how it goes. So there you have it. The Devil's Nightmare. Uh, we got Succubus. We got Seven uh, Tourists battling for their souls, you got the devil, you got the the Baron who really doesn't play too much of a role in the movie actually, It's kind of, that's kind of odd, but um, yeah, so here, hey, this one's probably, uh, probably shorter than yesterday's because there's not much to say about there without, you know, getting too into the plot, and like I said, it's a basic plot, so it's not like there's like too much to say, but anyway, so there you have it. Tomorrow, maybe I'm going to dive into another one of these or choose something else. Or maybe do something totally different altogether. I don't know. But until then, you guys, you know, you you guys, you uh, watch the uh, nights get darker sooner. And soon it's going to be cr very crisp outside. And uh, you're like going to go on hay rides and bonfires and and uh, maybe haunted houses. So you guys enjoy yourselves out there. Enjoy the Halloween season. I know not everyone on the channel or subscribe to my channel, big horror fans, but I am. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, yeah. And if this is your first video watching, I'm like, I'm, I'd be surprised, but whatever. Check out my channel for more stuff. Uh, see what what's to come, basically, because more of what I've done before is going to be happening in, uh, you know, after the Halloween season. So there you go. And as always, you guys stay scary, Internet. <laughs> yeah.